And this piece is very much about layers. Layers are really important in Debussy. A lot of the preludes are actually written in three stabs, which he wouldn't have had to do. We could have read them in two, but he wants us to see the different layers. Here it's written in two stabs, but we've had one layer and now we get another and we're about to get a third. Here's the third. And they're gonna come together. Now we have that drumming sound in the bass or the gong. And now those opening whole tone thirds are returning. face the challenge that each one of those lines has its own character and personality. That, in that sense, of course, it's like Bach. You have to hear more than one thing at once. But in Bach, you're very often hearing the same subject in different voices. Um, here, you're hearing material that's completely disparate, that really seems totally different. This is not at all the same as this. the student has to listen for the kind of articulation and for the character conveyed by the register that the line is in. There's a, a real challenge of hearing this inner line. Inner lines are always the hardest to hear because it's holding long notes. Listen to the D. Ta -ti -ta -ta. So easy to do this. As if, right? It's like a tail that didn't have a head. So it, it comes out of nowhere. This D has to take you to this. So lots of challenges there. And that, that layering continues through the entire piece, okay? Later on, we get the addition of this. There's that B flat, and we hear this. And later we get this little arabesque figure. And this tune that we'd heard here, we're now getting in three octaves. surrounded by that ostinato figure. And underneath it all, a long B flat, which means that it should all somehow be in a little tiny bit of pedal. flat with a bit of heft or else it's not going to sustain itself unless you put down much too much pedal. 